Hello everyone, this is Steve at WordPress on a Budget, and in this video we're going to continue our series on Jack Mail, the uh, newsletter plugin. And where we left off last was we had set up a list, and we had brought the widget over from Jack Mail, and decided that you know this was pretty simple, and maybe we need to upgrade it, make it a little a little prettier. Now Jack Mail already connects to WooCommerce, Ninja Form, and WP Forms, and Gravity Forms, which they are getting ready to add as of today, it looks like. So let's go back to the dashboard. I've already got Ninja Forms installed. We're going to go to Jack Mail, Settings. Now as you can see, it already knows I have the Ninja Forms installed. So I'm just going to click there. The information is saved. Now this is not going to be a video of Ninja Forms itself. So we're just going to go over to the dashboard of Ninja Forms. I'm just going to use the contact me that comes with it. I'll just edit it real quick. And we'll just call it newsletter. Hit done and publish. Close out of here. Then we'll go back to Jack Mail and go to lists. And as you can see, it's already added the list from the Ninja Forms. And this is where you will collect all the data. So we'll go to Appearance and Widgets, we're going to grab the Ninja Forms, bring it over here, we want to use the newsletter that we just created, click Save, we'll refresh our page over here, and there you have it, a little bit better looking form. You know what fields are required submit instead of okay just little small things that you can control and like I said this is not a ninja forms video so there's a lot of different stuff you could do here um, I haven't obviously done any formatting with my generate press or anything else but already it looks you know just a little bit more professional than down here we'll go back to the Jack Mail, the only thing that you can do in here is change this, change the title, hit save. So that's the only option that you have with what comes with Jack Mail. So basically, just changing the title over is all the options that you have with the Jack Mail widget. And another thing, if you're already using Ninja Forms, if you're already using um, WooCommerce or WP Forms or Gravity Forms, it's just real easy to configure Jack Mail to work with those plugins. So you don't have to change anything if you're used to using those. Okay, I know this was a quick one, but it's pretty flawless the way Jack Mail has made it to connect to all these different forms you can use. And they're adding forms all the time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe below. And if you would like more articles about WordPress, you can check out my blog. The link is in the description below. And also you can check me out on Twitter. If you've got questions or you want to send me something about doing another video, you can contact me on Twitter and I'll put that link in the description below as well. So until next time. See you.